the second day. Heavy rains after I <laughs> casually told the farmers, don't worry, go home, I'll ask the rain to come. And yesterday, two rounds of rain. And there is very good tewa, means nice wetness. They want the water to be at least one feet below the earth's surface. Then they know the rain, really they got the rain because that water will suffice them to run for another 10 to 15 days. If rain doesn't come, 15 days is good. And today again the second day, then they told me, one day rain is enough, uh, Swamiji. Then after three days it should come. I said, no, no, if it comes, I'll send you to three days. I don't know. Today again, second day, heavy rains, and I ran, I ran out of, outside to go and see whether rains are disciplined boys. And wherever I created the path, and the water ran only in that path, so there was no flooding. So even the nature, if you wanted to, if you give them love and you give them the path, they come the same path. Yes, I went around running, 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 around. every all my ponds. I saw it is beautifully filled up and not excess because I have blocked many, many areas, groundwater recharging, I call it, borewell recharging, I call it, rainwater harvesting, I call it, and it was all beautiful. Land is looking good. If I can do it, why there are floods? Think about it. The name shakes, shocks the whole world. Yasser Rafat, Yasser Rafat. This is the second time I'm talking about his course. Yasser Arafat said, how can I shave in the midst of guerrilla warfare? On battlefields, we have no facilities for shaving. And that was why I first grew my beard. Guerrilla yuddha ke beech mein kaisa dadi bana sakta hu. Yuddha ke maidan mein hamare paas shaving ki koi suvida nahi hai. Aur isi liye meinne apni daadi bedaai, apni daadi bedaai, apni daadi bedaai. How can I shave the mist of guerrilla warfare? We are in the center of that guerrilla warfare. We have to now enter into a guerrilla warfare. Yes, we have to declare war. Otherwise, all our joint family and the family tree, you can see it only in the museums and in the zoos. I am asking you to declare war. A war which you call it guerrilla warfare. Yes. How can I shave in the midst of guerrilla warfare? You don't shave, you only save. Yes. When there is a guerrilla warfare, to have our family with us. When we are going to declare war, to have our joint family connected back to knitted back where it got disconnected. We have to go search for our family tree and we need to have a war. Like Jimmy Carter, the American president said, Japanese are like the ducks on the riverbed, moving gracefully. But their legs are moving very fast under the water. Our guerrilla warfare for, to build up our family should be like we are moving gracefully but our legs are moving very fast under the water. In that situation we cannot shave. On battlefields, now we have declared war. I am asking you to join hands with me to declare war, to connect our family and the joint family. It is a revolutionary idea. People might stop you, they might spit on, they will tell you so many things that you cannot go back to your family. It is not possible. It is not possible because the whole mind has been brainwashed by the 2% rich, which controls 98% of wealth of the country. Who are the 2% rich? They are our own people. They also eat from the same mouth and go to the same toilet. So you don't worry. 
Don't think that they are separate. On battlefields, we have no facilities for shaving. So now we are on the battlefields. We cannot connect back to our family. We cannot even talk to our family because the family is in battle. Family is in battle mode. Anything we say, they fight back, telling the relatives or related thieves they are coming to rob us. They do not know that every day, every second, the companies and the factories are robbing them. That is accepted. But the relatives, the families have taught you, the schools have taught you, the universities have taught you, every temples and churches and masjid have taught you, the relatives are related thieves. Because if you are connected to your family, they cannot rob you. And in their robbing, you have lost everything. And what is left? Only hate. And in the hate only, diseases and suspicion. And for diseases and suspicion, whatever you work hard, without getting love and affection, all the money you give to the hospitals, to the psychologist, to the psychiatrist. How can I shave in the midst of guerrilla warfare? On battlefields, we have no facility for shaving, and that was why I first grew my beard. Yes, you have to grow. That is the time. Now is the time. Silent need for you to grow your beard. Your beard stands for your family. Grow your beard. Let it grow. Let the roots go deeper. The beard doesn't grow upwards. So that when it, the tree is growing upwards, people will see. Let the roots go deeper. Let the beard grow deeper silently. Like the duck on the riverbed moving gracefully. But the legs are moving very fast under the water. Revolution. Join hands with me and say it is a revolution. I am not scared of my relatives. I am going to knit it back, come what may. A thousand war, a thousand deaths happens, never mind, but knit it back. Leave something for the next generation. Plant a tree now for the next generation. Like that, plant the seed now. And that was why I grew, grew my beard. Yudhu ke maitan me. A yudhu hai, dekho, a yudhu hai. Amara family ke saath rehne ke liye. Somebody, family ke saath jane ke liye. A joint family knit karne ke liye. Kidhar gaya family tree. Pura khatam ho gaya. Nikhal diya. Guerrilla yudhu ke beech me. Kaisa daadi. Bana sakta hum. Yudhu ke maidan me. A yudhu hai. Abhi yudhu chal raha hai. Hamara paas. Shaving ki koi suvida nahi hai. Shave karna nahi. Shave kar do nahi hai. Aur isi liye meinne apni daadi badai. Apni daadi badai bada do. Oh, I first grew my beard. Yes. Grow your beard is like the roots. Don't shave it. Let the spit of your ladies don't even wipe it out. Don't shave it, but save that spit. Every word coming out of the family for the nether thousand years declare a war of thousand years to need the family. Every word of anger coming out of the relatives, save it. Only then you can spit it. Yasser Arafat said, how can I shave in the midst of guerrilla warfare? Yes, don't shave it. It's a warfare, a guerrilla warfare. But this guerrilla warfare is like what Jimmy Carter, XX, American president said, like the Japanese are like the ducks on the river, but you should be like the ducks on the riverbed. 
with your latest but your legs are working very fast under the water out so let them not see on battlefields we have no facilities nobody will give you facilities they have dumped you in the cities with that water when we have enough rain water in our village they dumped you in the city with your electricity when we have enough beautiful sunlight when god has given sunlight we forgot to collect and convert into solar On battlefields, we have no facilities shaving, and that was why I first grew my beard. Guerrilla, you think a beach me kaisa daadi bana sakta hu? You think a maidan me? Hamara pas shaving ki koi suvidha nahi hai. Aur isiliye maine apni daadi badai. Aur family trees. out for destruction we need to work with it rather against it shave not save it grows together join hands with me mera saath boliye let us build this family Let us knit this joint family and the family together. Join hands with me to wipe out more tears and bring down hunger.